Hello, welcome to Quackalope. Thank you for being here. We are on episode number four, number four. of Tidal Blades, Rise of the Unfolders, which is not the classic, well, people already know this though, this isn't the classic Tidal Blades, this isn't the, uh, you know, dice allocation worker placement game from Tidal Blades 1, this is an exploratory RPG dungeon crawl. It's TBT2. So, we ended up tricking Professor Meg <laughs> into coming down and visiting. Uh, yeah. Super thrilled to have you here. For those of you that aren't familiar, this is Professor Meg. She's mm -hmm. massive over on Instagram. Uh, you've got like 20,000 people over there hanging out, right? I'm tiny on there. I, I mean, in the board game I space. I in the boxes. That's true. That's true. If you want to, if you want to see a combination of fantastic board game photography, mm -hmm. sometimes you uh, squeezing into like a yep. Gloomhaven sized box, yep. yeah, which which is the classic. I think that's I think that's like the viral sensation you're yeah. known for, yeah. right? Uh, and and a ton of other board game mm -hmm. content. Swing over there. We'll have a link at the top of the video description. We're also we're also doing a top ten list. Yes. Yes, we are. Which which has some heavy hitters on it, which I'm very excited to uh, to break down and go into. And I think you and Shira are going to be doing possibly some like dual reviews on some games that mm -hmm. I'm not the biggest fan of. That's okay. But you both, <laughs> but you both are, uh, which I'm looking forward to. But that's not the point of this video. We're just excited because it's the first one we're filming of a day of a, a, a an entire day of filming. You see, mm -hmm. I stumble and then I just keep talking. An entire day of filming after an entire day of driving. Yeah. What should have taken me 10 hours to get here took me 15. Yeah. Through lots of precipitation. That is true. Well, snow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The, mm -hmm. the, the heavens decided to open up but and I made say, it. you did. You did. Perfectly safe and sound. All right. We should probably, we should probably get started. So, yes. Tidal Blades. We're going to be playing through the next three episodes in this prototype copy that we have. This is kind of the, the introduction to the game. The final version of this is going to go way beyond where we are with tons of characters, level progressions, everything like that. But we, we were sent the first few chapters to dig in. I've played the first three with Alex. Mm -hmm. You've had a chance to check out a few of them. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. But you're kind of hopping in mid-campaign here. Yes. So we worked our way through your deck. We got you set up with Echo. Uh, Echo is fantastic, by the way. I highly recommend in both games. She is wonderful. Absolutely adorable. Mm -hmm. uh, I I have Axel here primarily because uh, Alex was playing with uh, Dust, and Axel is yellow, so okay. it's it's really okay. it's really the you know if, if things come down to diverting between colors. He reminds me of Rufio with the okay. mohawk, and that is very cool vibes. So we're. We just finished episode three where we rescued someone from uh, the actual fold, and now we're popping back here into the city of Navari, and we have a bit of flavor tech to set this up. Now, if you're excited about the campaign, we're going to be playing through the next three episodes together. Mm -hmm. So the whole way through the end of chapter six of the prologue, if you don't know anything about the channel, uh, I, I like a little bit of flavor text. I do. So, so do I the, do. Do Am the I honors. In charge? Yes, absolutely. Okay. Uh, I can barely read out Navari. loud on camera, so... I'm worried about the only like the world words. Mm, I get most words wrong, so don't <laughs> okay. worry about the world words. <laughs> Navari Interlude One, the Citadel of Time. The gentle sound of waterfalls trickle through the open window as you rise from your chairs and stretch. You've been over the interrupted mission for over two hours with the High Council, including Iran Turo and the 27th Arcanist and the current leader of the city. It's been a long debrief. So, for now, we just wait here and watch the tide roll in, Kaiman grunts. The Citadel is all yours to continue your training, Aaron Toro replies. But yes, I'm afraid the engineers will need a few days to properly recalibrate the Nexus. You trudge out of the meeting room without a word. The Arcanist insisted that the Nexus malfunction wasn't your fault, but the failure of the mission still weighs heavily on your shoulders. Dispirited, you, track in with, you check in with Takro, Takaro, who is meditating in the gardens with Ripple. He gazes in your direction as you enter the archway. His eyes are impenetrable white spheres that give him an almost divine appearance. Sounds terrifying. Mm -hmm. I'm not mm -hmm. sure I like him. <laughs> divine. Um, it amazes you that the turtle warrior can fight so well without his sight. You oh, have so many now questions. I feel bad. Yeah. <laughs> terrifying. <laughs> he can't see. <laughs> I didn't. I thought he was just like a ghostly visage. It turns out he's he's blind. Damn. Yeah. I'm Power the jerk. scary. You have so many questions about the Citadel built cranial reflexor that he uses to echolocate, but you probably won't don't know him well enough to probe him on the subject. <laughs> it's fair. No, we're not we're not at that conversation level yet. Uh, when asked about the mission's delay, Takaro breathes deeply before replying, 
Consider it this way, the turtle warrior explains with his soothing bass tones. Us old tidal blades were frozen in the fold for what, 15 years? He pauses for a moment and is as if still baffled by the length of time. Then with a gentle smile, what's a few more days? Idleness can be torture, I know, trust me, but the Nexus is in good hands. Get out and enjoy the docks, blow off some steam, you deserve it. With a friendly nod, Takaro returns to his meditation, leaving you in the gardens to ponder how to best utilize your time. Cool. We shall see. So, apparently, things are paused. We've rescued a few people, and we're here at the city of Navari. Set up map A6 and B6, which we already have set up. Navari encounters. So this is the cool part of the game where, instead of just fighting and progressing, we actually get a chance to, like, stop by the shop. village, shop a mm -hmm, little bit, mm -hmm. upgrade our decks, like, customize our characters, which is very fun. Draw a Navari encounter card and choose how to resolve it as a group. Guide breaks, or guide breaks ties. The guide is the hero with the fewest total goal path advancements. Okay, interesting. Choose a location. Starting with the guide, all players choose a location to send their hero mm -hmm. on the board here. Oh, and we need to pull... Our mini outers. Yeah, I have, a, I have a tub of minis here. Where are you? Where are you? No, that's a lizard warrior. I Not only quite. Only does. Uh, here you are. Aha. Adorable. And where am I? I am here. Okay. So, resolve. If more than one hero is on a location, actions are resolved clockwise starting from the guide. Healing. At any time while visiting Navarre, you can spend four fruit to heal a battle scar, return it to the battle scar deck. Guess what I have oh, yeah, that's at a the good, top of my deck. That's a good thing to do. Yeah, that. but I don't get to spend fruit on other very fun things, though. Scars are also cool. Right, well, that's true. Although... <laughs> Not uh, that scar. An addled brain, maybe not the coolest <laughs> yeah, scar I could have. Like, they can't I can't even see it. So. I'll take like a wounded forcep yeah. or like slash yeah, across yeah. the face. Yeah. yeah, that's the cool mm -hmm. addled brain. <laughs> Questionable. Not, not as good. Once you spent three days in Navari going through all steps three times, read between friends. So we need to pull. You see those green cards over there? Go ahead and randomize those and grab one of those. Because uh, spend. You have three days to spend in Navari and Exhibition. Each day you will complete these steps in order. So we're going to do three of these cards. So I've never seen these before. I have no idea what they do. I should have prepped them. No. Uh, let's see. Miski's Challenge. You meet Miski, who boasts cheerfully about her chances of winning a unsanctioned race near the Broken Ridge. Oh, why don't you join us? She smiles. Even the odds, a little. You do miss a thrill of the tracks, but you're a bit rusty. And a tidal blade, and a tidal blade racing, they will all be watching. Do you join the race or propose to act as the judge for the event? Ooh. Do we both make different choices? No, so we're, we're choosing one, one path forward. And I'm going to divert to you on this. I want to be the judge. You be the judge? Because I was a judge. Okay, let's see here. You're like a, like, Professor Meg yeah. is like, <laughs> she is legitimately everything I thought I would try to become when I was like 12 years old. Like I didn't even know like being an actual Pokemon professor yeah. was a thing you could do mm -hmm. until I met Arsenio in DC. Uh, he has a Pokemon video on the channel with me, who is fantastic. And the fact that I'm friends with two Pokemon two judges. <laughs> I have an official lab coat. Uh, and Alex's children uh, would freak out. <laughs> you have a lab coat? Yeah. yeah. They, there was a professor program, and you could get a lot of swag. It was very cool. Lots of clothes. I, I'm very impressed. Uh, okay. Scared to get splashed? Misky chuckles. Well, see you there, then. She adds before rev uh, revving her watercraft and making a flamboyant exit. She's not wrong. Having raced against her before, you know your chances of winning were pretty slim. Better save your reputation and use the opportunity to study her techniques. Gain one experience and one fruit. Nice. So we'll pop this over to the side. Go ahead and mark down. So I'm popping up to 12 experience. One experience, one fruit. Yep. And I have nine total fruit. I have 12 and 11. So. So far. Now we're gonna go through our like action selection, right? And we'll resolve, I think, left to right or clockwise order. So desert market. Here, if we decide to go here, we could draw up uh, items from the bag over there, and that's gonna allow us to get little modifiers that pop onto our grid, uh, which is cool, but they're gonna cost fruit to do. But I think we both have actually a pretty good influx of- So someone of. has to go there for the items to even be yeah. seen? Yeah, so we'll be mm, here, okay. items will pop out, and then we'll, we'll draw extra items for however many people are there. Okay, well that um, awesome. We have Temple of the Breaking Waves, where you can gain experience, which can be traded in for other things. We have the Citadel Research Lab, where you get to upgrade cards mm -hmm. um, and swap those out of your deck. 
Meditation Springs, where you can advance your trait, which is just a base upgrade, which is pretty nice. And the Floating Guardians, which are going to be just full of luscious, like, mango oranges. I, I think that's what these are. Yeah, They something. look delicious. They look very squishy. They look delicious. I want to eat even okay. the plastic ones. So, I, I'm a big fan of both A and C. And we have three days, so we basically We have three days. Choices. I don't... Unless, unless some of the cards I buy are really expensive, I don't know that I need the experience or extra fruit. I kind of like yeah, all the things that let I me agree. upgrade. I want this because we don't, we haven't even seen them. I want to see them, okay. right? Because so, you wouldn't flip the tokens until you do it. Let's have both of us go there to get as much as possible. All right, so we're popping into this location. Should be, is it this bag or is it that bag? I will peek in. It is this bag. So go ahead and shuffle these up, and you're going to draw four items for each hero who visits. Draw an additional item. So draw five items. No, six. Four items for each hero who visits. You're right. Six items. I'm a <laughs> <laughs> So, each one of these has what item it is. So, like oh. coin powder, uh, micropionic booster, uh, Govari nectar, a muran fruit, and then on the other side here we have how much they cost. The little pips on the bottom. Okay. And we have the modifier. So if you see, like if I bought an extra health, mm -hmm. that's going to slot into that zone, which is just going to upgrade that row, which I think is super cool. Mm. Uh, and then purchase up to two items by spending fruit. Replace any purchase items before the next player's turn. Okay. Oh, we cannot purchase up to two. So what are you thinking? You've got some ranged op options there. Are we supposed to go in order? Are we supposed to choose these in order of whoever is the person? I ish. The guide. Would ish. you like to be the guide? No, you can you okay. can go ahead and buy first. Unless you want you want me to cycle some because they'll redraw. Do you think this one, like when you play over it, that means you gain range for your attacks? Yeah. Means? So so not when you play over it, when you trigger a row with it. Yeah. All of your right. all of your attacks will have the modifier of three range. Okay. Okay. And then which one is this one? So this is going to be, I believe, a plus one target modifier, mm -hmm. uh, but it can't be chained. So you're not a, you're not allowed to do like multiple multiple targets. Okay. 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 Do you want to do this draft style? Me buy one, you buy one. I'm fine with that. Okay. I will take the range one first. Range one first. Yeah. Okay. So I'll one more is going to come out. Oh, more come out as you pull. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be a uh, spirit boost. I have a habit of taking a lot of damage, so I'm wondering if I do the health one. But I, I think I am actually going to do the focus one uh, so that I can modify one of my tracks with an extra focus. Okay, another one comes out. We can buy up to two for this day. So we have another shell shield. Is it too ruthless if I buy the health one? Do it. Okay. No, that's it. fine. <laughs> Right. What do I? And these cost fruit. These cost fruit. Yeah, I think the pips down at the bottom are, how many? are the fruit that they cost. Um, so I think I'm going to take. I think I'm going to take both of these. I like getting my spirit and I like getting my focus up because it lets me modify and do more damage on my attacks and it lets me move a little bit farther. Nice. So market is cleared. That is day one. Uh, if more than one hero is at a location, actions are all resolved clockwise, starting from the guide. It's fine, we're back up to the mm -hmm. top of the day, so we need another green card. Ah. Do you want to pick one? Sure. Okay. Endless parties. Nice. Sounds nice. A tired iota is packing her things. Is that a frog pack? She grunts. They dance all day and night. I, I just can't work nor sleep. It's hard not to sympathize. You know how wild a frog pack can be. That's true. Perhaps if you want a friendly battle against them, they would agree to move. You wish that you could be talked out uh, you wish that this could be talked out, but they only respond to taunts and fists. Uh, a, defy the frog pack, or B, help the iota find a new location. So help them move, or tell the frogs to, like, scram. What do you think? Probably scram. Okay. What do you think? Yeah. Sometimes, this is when I get stuck where it's like, I want to do the third thing and feed them or something. Oh, no. Well, that's so not... So I'll let you decide. That's not an option. We're going to go with A. Uh, those are some tough frogs, but in the end, you subdue them and send them a clear message that their antics will not be tolerated. Gain two experience. Mark a space on your wound track. Ouch. Yeah, about that. Did about they that wound hole. Us? They did, yeah. So, mark a spot on your wound track. It's but, the last decision you made. <laughs> thank you. But we do get we do get to experience. Oh, this is interesting. I haven't done this this way before, but I. Yep. You draw a line there, and anytime you hit the red is when 
you you get some sort of permanent scar. Nice. So you're not quite you're not quite there yet. So I I definitely want to go to the Citadel Research Lab. I want to spend some stuff on some experience. You're welcome to do anything else you want, but. And is it better for us if I go there too at the same time? Both of us doing the same thing seems to get us a benefit on on yeah. what I we do can want to do that buy. one as well, so I might so as well, might as well do it together. Day. Okay. So, draw four action cards based on the fame level for each hero who visits. Draw an additional card. So, we're drawing five. Purchase one of the cards by spending... Uh, I'm going to draw six. Uh, you're right. Purchase <laughs> one of the cards by spending experience and fruit. Then you may permanently remove one action card from your hero deck. Replace the purchase card before the next player's turn. Oh, cool. So, one, two, three. This is the part. I like the deck building here. Like, how do I yeah. modify my deck to make it as cool as possible? So you got first. You got first pick last time. Mm -hmm. So, all right. So these symbols here are initiative. Uh, that'll bump us up. Uh, spend a uh, spirit. All adjacent enemies lose one health. I don't hate that, and it allows me to get a ton of move. That is good. Um. I think though. I see one you might like. Yeah. Headlong strike. Yeah. <laughs> This you one. lose two health. I don't know if I would do that. I add, like, I'd probably take that one. Okay. Add one die to any subsequent attack this round. Okay. So, you decent little uh, modifier there. I, I think I like the passing aggression because it lets me move, mm -hmm. which is can, which can be powerful, but it also does damage as I like run around the board. I think it's really good. So, I'm going to grab this. This is going to cost me six, which is going to drop me down to eight total experience. We draw out another card, and you can choose what you want. Okay. I'll take that one. Battle awareness. What does it do? That's me. <laughs> it's a two attack linked fight and a, I gain a... Initiative as well. Yes. Oh, and you also gain a uh, focus from it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so that's the... I wish it was a little cheaper, but that's fine. Next day at the market. And now we have to resolve one more of those green cards, and then we get oh, to go yeah. into a battle. Okay, okay. Oh, and I am... Uh, I, I'm going to spend some. Oh, yeah. What was the rule? I could spend four fruit to get rid of this. I'm absolutely going to do that. So dropping down from nine to five fruit. And should we do this now? Uh, mix it in? Mm -hmm. You can. Yeah, I mean, we're, we'll shuffle our deck before we uh, get started. I can on that permanently shirt. remove one. Oh, that's right. Yeah. I forgot about that. That's my favorite, is getting rid of like base level stuff. So what do I not need if I'm adding this in? You what know, is that symbol again? Uh, that is putting one into your quantum uh. reservoir. You know, I'm going to get rid of my fight or flight card, which is a two attack, two move, because this is a three attack or a, a three move where everyone starts losing health. So it's it's just a little bit better than that card. So that's going to go into my dump pile. Yeah, and I will get rid of fight or flight, which would be move. You're doing it fight. as well? Nice. Yeah. Okay, uh, from there, we now Wait. have one more round to do. All right. And you could go back to one of these locations. So let's say you wanted to add another card. You got experience for it and stuff. So we don't we don't have to do, like I'm considering going to D mm. to upgrade just a base stack because I have I have the room for it. But you definitely don't have to do what I do this turn. Yeah, I could buy more things. Mm -hmm. I have a shopping problem. <laughs> ah, the Mystic Bard. As you stroll along the crowded docks, you catch yourself unconsciously following, following faint but enthralling music. It leads you to a tiny island, home of a mystic bard. Ah, a blade, the chameleon rasps as you enter. Strong, but edges frayed. Ask, my child, ask away. One truth I can convey. Perfect. Love, Rose. <laughs> so we can either ask about our past or ask about our future. Okay, what do you, what do you want to know future. about? Future, for sure. Yeah. All right. Okay. So you're looking for, yep. Duality, he says, producing a small pendulum. Two paths become thee. He swings the device in front of your tired eyes, and you immediately feel carried forward in the mystic's voice. Your mind opens to new possibilities, and you sense yourself becoming who you were truly meant to be. Advance one space on the goal path of your choice. Oh, cool. So... Ah... Uh personal goals. So you can go up on show off or team player for me and you have knowledge and power. I'm going to go power. I'm going to go up on team player because if I get two more of these, 
I unlock another card from my deck. That will happen with my power one. Uh, your power, yep, that's exactly right. And the knowledge ones are going to give you check marks to put down here. Cool. Which was cool, too, because you raised your hand size from four to five. Yeah, which yeah. Is not it's not bad. bad. Okay, uh, and one more day. I think I am going to go to Meditation Springs uh, because, I, like I said, I have a bad habit of getting knocked out. And I kind of want to raise my max health to eight uh, down the board. That's my thought. Do I want to save my experience for anything? Every every it's just for this kind of stuff. It's it's for this type of stuff. So you might want to save it for shopping and stuff. Since we're only doing like three more episodes of the campaign. Yeah. I have a lot of fruit. Let's do this one again. Okay. So <laughs> pull pull from the desert market. Decide how you want to use it. And I'm going to go ahead and spend, uh, so let's see here, it's six total experience to raise my max health to eight. Which means this little pip here pops from the eight to the nine zone. And do I get to buy two? Uh, yep. Up to two. Up to two. Hmm. I could have two, three ranges. What are you thinking? I'm gonna buy these two. I'm gonna buy a reroll die. Do I need that? No. Let's do the plus die. And a movement. Plus die and a movement? Mm -hmm. For three awesome. more fruit. Alright. Between friends. You come back as the sun dips into the ocean, spilling warm across the Navarian sky. You've made but two steps in the citadel before a plump clunk clerk rushes towards you. There you are, she says. Well, it's not the right voice. <laughs> I've received a note in your absence. She hands you a folded piece of paper sealed with a wax stamp. Please tell the chameleon that we need him to return to the desalinator he took on his way out. See, that's not the word that I read, but I just pushed forward confidently. Oh, that's the word I saw. Uh, you can't help but grin. Uh, case really is one of a kind. You open the letter from the thief and read it aloud to your companions. Hey, Blades, I need a tiny favor. Some of my informants have stopped showing at our re re rendezvous points. Rendezvous. 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 Rendezvous points. Rendezvous is spelled way weirder than it is pronounced. Did you know there's a Z That's in the French. middle of rendezvous? Rendezvous points. It might be nothing, but I have a hunch. Meet me at the desert market tomorrow at noon. You don't relish being involved uh, with the desert gangs, but with Coral Guard focused on the full crisis, someone could be making a power play. Case is a good lad. If you go, you could glean more info and keep things from getting worse. As you discuss what to do with the letter, you notice a familiar face with expectant eyes standing in the corner leading to your rooms. Before you can say anything, Grito the Tooth comes... Grito the Tooth, I love that name, comes hopping in with a big wave of his arms. My dearest friends, I have the most amazing surprise for you, a litter gesture to repay you for saving my life. Axel raises an eyebrow. Oh, we did? Oh, oh, right. The Garcuda incident. Uh, what's this surprise? My greatest achievement, the old inventor replies with a toothless smile. But you'll have to come pick it up with me in the desert tomorrow. It's my old bones, you see. They, they don't let me carry anything too heavy these days. <laughs> Knowing Grito, Nothing is ever that simple. His inventions are known to be anything from impractical to hazardous. Then again, he seemed genuinely proud of his work, and you, your curiosity, is certainly piqued. You only have time for- Oh. Oh no! Are we gonna split? Is you this a split? Only, well no, we're do, we both are doing one. Like, the team's going on one adventure. You only have time for one adventure before you next your next meeting with Iron True. True, Turo. The other scenario will not be available later. Wow, book, just rub it in, right? Uh, if you choose to help Case, advance to chapter 4A. If you choose Grito, skip to chapter 4 plus. So do we help deal with the gangs, or do we let the gangs go out of control and we go after a potentially hazardous invention? I love the crazy guy. Okay, I love sold. Him. Sold. It was mostly my yeah. place, right? That was, that yeah. was what sold it? Perfect. It was all of it. Chapter 4B. So this is chapter, okay, 4B. Grito's machine. So we're gonna go ahead and set up the scenario. We won't. We'll do a, a hard skip to uh, to that. So we'll see you in just a moment. All right, we're back. We've set up the mission. We've uh, 
checked some rules when it comes to how the items are actually used because mm -hmm. I, I wasn't a hundred percent. I haven't dealt with them before. They don't program onto our board. Okay. They actually program onto the cards that we're pulling out of our deck, which is cool. Yeah. Because it, it's less cool because they go away, which makes sense why you can buy like two of them at a time. But it is more cool because you get to modify your most powerful abilities, and they don't cover up a slot. Right, and you actually use so, it more, because if it was on the do. board when you covered it, you couldn't get it, yeah. whereas you make it more accessible, so... Yeah, this time it's there for a full three activations, but then you've used up the item, which makes sense. So, we are diving into uh, Grido's machine. Uh, do you want to do the honors, or would you like me to? Is there also an ending? Uh, there, there's an ending How as well. How about you do the beginning? I'll do the beginning? Yeah. Okay. You have been trudging in the desert for more than an hour, when you stop in a small oasis for some well-deserved shade. You can't help but wonder if Grido really knows where he's going. The fish folk is dressed in what looks like a fish bowl, with holes for the legs and two sturdy straps to hold the thing on his shoulders. Yep, there he I is. I love it. It is adorable. <laughs> uh, this device is filled with water. Grido claims he never ventures into the desert without it. This is the place! Uh, I, I always like go for a voice and then I realize that's the wrong person talking. <laughs> You need to put the you need to put the color coded. You need to put it ahead or color coded, mm -hmm. yes. Yeah, yeah, the little bubble of their face. Because it could say, Cayman says, this yeah. but that would read weird. Yeah. This is the place, Cayman says, pointing to an entryway flanked by two hatchet faced salamanders. This be Slissix stomping around. I, for one, ain't looking for trouble. Oh, you know the lad, Gerdo says with a renewed spark in his eyes. That's the fellow we're looking for. A weird face on that one, that's for sure. He probably had a shell stove incident in my cousin like my cousin Trito. Ha, well, He's been holding on to some of my belongings while my house is being fumigated for fireman for a firemander invest infestation. Oh my gosh. I am not sure what I just read. There's so much going on. <laughs> yeah, he's listen, Gerdo. This is like the soaps version of what's going on in the world. Yeah, but not only that, he just he's one of those characters that'll just let you know. Yeah. You ask him how the day is, five minutes later you've got a little bit too much information. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, let me get this right. A renowned gang leader helped you store all of your belongings back at his lair? Sagashi asks. Sounds like, sounds to me like you got robbed. Robbed, Gerdo laughs. No, the lad is very kind. When I got back home one night, they were already packing all my stuff at no charge. Well, come to think of it, they did ask if I could lend some money for their expenses. You see, I do have a lot of very heavy machines in my house, and they had to rent a boat. Gerdo trails off as he eagerly walks to the entrance. Before anyone can stop him, the old Iota greets the guards with a wide, friendly gesture. Greetings, my brave amphibians! I'm here to see Slisk! I need to pick up my machine. It's the one on the tracks. You can't miss it. You know, uh, the one for... The boss isn't here, the salamander hisses abruptly. Besides, I doubt he's expecting an old fool like yourself. Get lost, chowder pants. Oh, 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 uh, chowder pants. A uh, good one, son. Chowder pants. Gerdo says. I, I need to write this down. He pulls out a notebook and starts scribbling, still chuckling to himself. Doing so, he walks right past the two thugs with a confidence that obviously confuses both of them. Hey, uh, come back here, shouts the bigger one. You rush behind Gerdo uh, into the lair and startle before the strange spectacle. A big machine that looks like a thick barrel on wheels resolves furiously, firing harpoons at random and, and raining sparks as it grinds down a maze of metal tracks. Gerdo has an appalled look on his face. Your gift! Holy microns! What have they done? Following Gerdo into the desert, you discover that his gift is in fact a weird machine on rails that was stolen by bandits. Here we have salamander thugs, we have spawn tokens, A and B, we have Gerdo's machine, which is right here. I should probably grab a base so we can stand that up. Yeah. I just want to go ahead and loft that up onto a base. We have a wiring board, which is a weird contraption that I was wondering what it would be. Uh, interesting. Place the wiring board next to the gu uh, guide card for Grito's machine. Place the power source tile face up in the center space. So this goes right here. And then put the other six around the outside edge of it. So it looks like we might have a little bit of a, uh, a, little bit of a puzzle that we need to solve. Cool. Okay, in a two-player game, reveal the tile in the top right corner. So okay. this one, okay. we know about. I'm here for this. Rules for Grito's machine. During the scenario, you will attempt to fix the wiring of Grito's machine without destroying it. As you chase it down the rails, the machine cannot leave the tracks and cannot be moved by hero's abilities. Trample. <laughs> the machine will always move its full movement on the track before attacking. The machine may move through anything on the track. 
Each hero or enemy it moves through must move to an adjacent space and lose two health. So we need to, like, chase behind it, basically. Yeah. Haywire. The machine will target both heroes and enemies when attacking. Enemies do not target the machine. Armored plating. The machine is armored equal to the number of armor symbols showing in the wiring tiles. Okay. All right. So it currently has way too much armor. Okay. Okay. Uh, when an attack roll on machine has one or more, the attacking player flips over one of the face-down wiring tiles. Make sure to keep the orientation the same when flipping. Continued on the next page. So, we have to hit it to fix the wiring. Uh, silly newts, hooking up all those spiky things, leaving all the wires hanging. They'll hurt someone, I tell you that. Uh, you know, I think that might be the point, Shashi ponders, glancing at the machine. Some salamander thugs draw their daggers as they see you enter, but most of them run around the cave screaming and diving out of the way of the devilish contraption. Something tells me their genius plan of transforming your machine into a deadly weapon has massively backfired, Chigashi says. Look at this wiring. It's complete crab dung, Gudo rages. The nodes are not even connected. We've, lot, we've got lots of work to do, lads. Fix the wiring. Once you've flipped some of the machine's armor tiles, you will need to work on fixing it. There are two ways to fix the machine. Roll tide symbols. Attack the machine and apply damage as normal, taking armor into account. Then if you rolled one or more tide symbols, which is the blue symbol, take one of the following fix actions. Rotate a tile 90 degrees in any direction. If change the locations of two adjacent tiles or move a tile to an adjacent empty space. Uh, interact. You can also interact with the machine to take one fix action or heal the machine to health. Interesting. So interact is a free action that you could always do. Okay. The wiring is fixed when all the nodes are connected to the power source by wires. The wires do not have to connect, they may be dead ends, as long as the nodes are connected. So here we have an example, incomplete machine, uh, doesn't have everything connected, all the nodes are connected. So this oh, wiring doesn't matter as long as everything is powered on. Okay, okay objective, wire all the nodes with, to the power source to stop Gerdo's machine without destroying it. Anytime, if the wiring is fixed, read section 4B. If the machine is destroyed, read section 4B.2. Okay, you can still fail the scenario if all heroes are defeated or it takes more than 12 rounds to finish. If that happens, follow the usual failing a scenario instructions from the rulebook. Okay. Which we don't have to worry about because we're not going to fail. This is easy. Is it? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. I'm still stuck on chowder pants. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a good, it's a good insult. So go ahead and draw up four cards. I get to draw five. You get to draw five. And I, I'm i curious to see what happens here. So we have the machine's uh, actions over here. Now, it has five HP as the base. So I'm going to go ahead and take a red mark here. And we're just going to use, use this here to indicate uh, where the machine actually is. Okay. Because we can't destroy it. That's right. what we're trying not to do. Uh, okay, so we do not get to go first, though. The machine and the salamander thug are going to get to go first. So it starts the machine. I will shuffle and flip one of these. And we have four of them? Uh, we have two... No, these are off to the side. Okay. Sorry, these were the, the leftover Just ones. Just make sure they weren't coming for us. So heroes must spend... Uh, focus each time they attack Gerdo's machine this round. So okay. that's a modifier. Okay. It's, it's got a jangling carapace. And then Gerdo's machine. Move four, uh, two damage, all targets within a range of two. So it's just like slinging stuff in every direction. Plus one move for each shell. If unable to attack, all heroes who are on or adjacent two tracks gain minus one uh, focus and stun. Okay. We are not adjacent to tracks. Mm -hmm. So it's not going to affect us, but he's going to go. He's kind of loose. Oh. <laughs> Come here. You know, is there not a tighter one? No, I don't. I can try. I, I mean, I'm not too worried about it. Let's see. It depends on, like, the thickness of the cardboard combined this with... Mine. This is a little... That's a little, a little better. better. Yeah, okay, that's yeah, actually that's sticking. So, uh, the machine is here, and it's going to move 5 plus 4, so 9. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That is a ton of that's movement. Fun. So we need to position ourselves, like around the edge here to maybe catch it as it comes yeah. by. Yeah, I think we should fight one, and then it's going to come up. Because there's no way way. we can chase it down. No. Actually, getting to the center zone mm -hmm. will have us be at the most threat, because we're right next to two spawn points, but that center zone is where the machine's going to pass through right. the most often. Right. Especially if it's moving halfway or like a quarter of the track each time. That's it, though. Uh, so we now resolve for them. Go ahead and flip their action card. 
So let's do it over to the Next side here me. so your board doesn't get hidden. Oh, and we should both have a random. So I have fastest blade. I want to take the first turn in the round three times. And I have motivational boost. Use an interact to give a spirit to another hero. It's the same one I had last time. I did a terrible job at shuffling. I want to do another one though. Dazzling display. Activate a spirit ability on a card. Okay. And then you can do better. Use the quantum reservoir to let another hero re-roll. Nice. Cool. So that's my objective. That's what I'm trying to do. What'd you pull? I have self-experimentation, so I want to gain a status or a wound. Okay. And then aggressive experiment, defeat an enemy. Okay. Sounds like me. That sounds... <laughs> you, did, you did specifically yeah. say, I would really like to do as much damage as possible. <laughs> okay. Uh, Salamander thugs. They're going to be moving one. They're going to be doing three damage uh, to someone within a range three. So it looks like they have crossbows. Mm -hmm. uh, and then if they roll blue, they'll also get a disarm ability. So moving one... Moving one. One, two, three. One, two, three. Neither of us are in range, though. So we're actually good for this round. Oh, I thought I was. Uh, oh, and we should have we should have actually done this as well. I, I'm just, I'm not quite getting things in the perfect order. We should have four cards in our hand, and we should have set our initiative to start with. Oh, before they start. Yeah, because because they flip. Yeah. So, like, this guy actually drops down an initiative. I agree. He goes up an initiative. So the machine doesn't change, but the salamander thugs might right, like they might still be change their that. action. Yeah. And I don't think they actually would because the one card that I have, uh, we also should, I am just completely getting our initial setup wrong. We also should have a persistent power in the center of our board. I have mine. Before we dive in. You have <laughs> yours set? I don't have mine set. So I... I'm going to go ahead and establish... Oh, but it could be the other one. Cocky Boasting. Oh, one. Uh, and I only get to shuffle two of those into my deck. So I have those two. Now I'm going to draw up. Now we should take our initiative. Okay. And once again, the one that allows me to move... Uh, okay. I'm ready to go if you are. Mm -hmm. So I have a initiative of nothing. And you have an initiative modifier of minus, minus one. Minus one. So it doesn't actually change the order of operations. Uh, because this guy drops down, goes off to the right, they go first, they move forward, and now we resolve. Nice. Uh, so I go ahead of you. So I have uh, Passing Aggression. It gives me a little bit of additional movement. This is one of the cards that I was able to upgrade, uh, and I can make people take damage. But I can move a total of five. I, I think we start rushing towards the machine and deal with the uh, lizard folk yeah. as we go. My only concern is the lizards will start to spawn uh, as they progress. Because they have, um, we have their base stats here, but then they also are going to have spawn, which are going to pop out of these two zones. And then uh, the Grotto's machine has Haywire, Trample, and uh, Reach. Um, okay. I think we can handle that. Possibly. So I'm going to set this down here, which is going to set me up with five total movement and two shell shields. Okay. So I'm just going to start rushing forward. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Uh, and what are you doing? Hmm. I'm not even okay. <laughs> um, Immediately? Yeah. Let's do this. And I'll go this way. Okay. So I will first move three. And I'll just go straight forward. You want to go over next to him, or you want to stay right here? I'll go, like, can I go on the tracks? Yep. Yeah, I'll go there, because okay. I'm ranged. Oh, true. And then I will attack, and I can make one free reroll for each attack. Nice. So I will attack for two. Uh, yeah. And your range of two, which means... So, two damage. Uh, they have a total of six health. Could you we? could you could reroll one if you wanted. Do I think it'll be blocky? Yeah, sure. Let's just do it. Let's just do it right, okay. off, the, right off the gate. Not better. Nope. Uh, we'll leave it. We'll leave it how it is. I'll let. Leave I'll it. let the cookie crumble. So one damage for yeah. the blue one here. Shots. Don't worry. You'll do. You'll do some significant <laughs> damage in, in a second. Oh wait, I and I should have an extra die for that attack. You should have an extra okay. die. Absolutely. So yeah. This is ah. where you. There we go. Two more damage. Two more damage. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Uh, and you could spend a focus to activate one of those. Um, but it's only worth one, and it doesn't yeah. knock them out. So I'll hold on to it for fault. now. Okay, and you could spend any of your spirit yeah. to move an additional. I think for now, because I'm ranged, I'll stay behind you. Okay. I think that's safe. Sounds good. 
Uh, that is the end of my activation. Go ahead and draw up an additional card, and we set initiative. Okay. I think I want to try to go ahead of this crew now. Yeah, I can't move too much now. Yeah, I'll move, I'll move a little bit. Yeah. I'm... Okay. So, revealing initiative, I am going plus one. I am also plus one. All right, and reveal for each of these. So the new condition is rickety bolts. Only one hero may interact with Gerdo's machine. Okay, I don't know that we're either going to reach it. He stays on top. Salamander thungs do not change initiative. So that means Gerdo machines is going first. So three movement plus one for each shell. So we're going a total of eight movement. So we want to go ahead and swing him down the track. Okay, I think I might be able to reach him this next round if I position somewhere around there. Yeah. I also he think I might. Pretty quick. I also think I might get hurt when I do that. Oh, but the nice thing is he's all his modifier cards are going to slow down. So actually, the more damage we do to him, right. the, the easier it'll right. be to hold on to him. Uh, plus one for each. If unable to attack, all heroes lose two health. Hey. That's not very nice. So you can go attack him. Well, no, we lose two health. He's, that's oh, his condition. I thought it was if unable to attack. Oh, yeah. it's if he's unable to If he's to unable attack. to attack. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, lizard thugs now. No, I now go, and then the lizard thugs. I could step over to the side and potentially knock this one out so it doesn't do either of us any damage. Do it. Uh, but I we're can reach also the other one. going to be spawning one at A. So there's going to be one right in front of us. So let's do that. Uh, so the card that I have is uh, all heroes in two range may gain a, a spirit. Love so go ahead and gain a spirit. This includes me as well. And I'm going to lock this into place right over here, I believe. So start of my turn, shell shields move over. Uh, I'm going to use a spirit to step down. So I'm not actually activating any of my cards right now. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and then gain both my spirit and focus back up with this column. I'm going to use my two attack to go ahead and try. Uh, but all I need to do is two damage. No, I need to do three damage. I'm going to spend both of my focus wow. uh, to activate both of those because I don't have uh, the ability to... Yeah, I don't have the ability to reroll at the moment. Uh, I do have these tokens, but I'm not worried about that. So that is going to take out this guy here. And then... And what's up? I think a fruit goes where he died. A fruit... Well, a token goes where he right, died. Right, right, right. You're right. It's usually like a fruit or, or a stunt something or something like that. Yeah, so... Yeah. Uh, I got a focus. I'm going to use a free awesome. interact to pick that up. It's very nice to have. Yeah. And now I have three movement. And I know something's going to be spawning at A. Do you think you're going to be able to take care of whatever spawns at A, possibly? It's not. It's going to have a whole I turn before it activates. I but not kill it, probably. Okay, I can so, take anything this turn. And this one's going to be moving three. Uh, but it doesn't have range. So I'm going to go one, two, three. I'm just going to let something spawn. No, I need to go over one. Something's going to spawn there, and this guy's going to get close to me, but he's not going to reach me. Okay, lizards go. So three movement, two attack, all targets. Uh, oh, he has two range. One, two, three. He's not going to reach you. He is definitely going to reach me. Do you want to stay out of range? Uh, no. The machine's coming. Yeah, I, I, I want to catch yeah. the machine. Uh, that's kind of my focus this next turn. So with that in mind, though, maybe I go one, two, three two, three, because the machine's going to come up this track here, mm -hmm. and I sort of want him to stay close to the track, because he will also get hit by the machine. So he's oh, going to step over. He's going to be firing two with a single die modifier. Let's hope for a double miss. That is a single miss, so one damage coming to me. I don't have any shields equipped this time, which is fine. And then he's going to retreat two, so he's going to then go one, two, back onto the track, and we'll have the green one spawn here at spawn point A, summoning up the courage and six health. And that's your turn. All right, so I think now I can only hit the green one. <coughs> I didn't realize he was going to run away. Uh, yeah, you could... I yeah. can hit the green one. You could also move ahead of time, and you have you have your max on oh, I have one stunt. More move. Yeah, no, but the I green, still, the I'm green one's away. fine. Yeah. yeah, I'm one away from reaching him. Okay, so I'll play this here, and I will first... Move two. Okay. And then I will attack him. For three for dice three. again? Yeah, because of my thing. 
And I can re-roll one. Nice. Uh, so that, that would change be, both of them, right? It, it would, if you spend a focus, it would change both of them. All right, I'll re-roll this one. Okay, so if yeah. you wanted to spend the focus, you'd get four total damage. Yeah. Yes. I like this. Uh, you, you pop them for a ton of damage, and then I just finish yeah. them off. <laughs> that resolves our turn. Okay, yeah. drop a card. Plan your initiative. Oh, and figure out how I'm actually going to take down the machine. Oh. Okay. I... I'm gonna try my I'm gonna try my darndest to do enough damage to actually get a wound on the machine this turn, but I'm gonna be going slow, so I won't be able to take care of the lizards. So you going fast would be helpful if you're able to. I don't think I can go fast. No. If I go fast, I don't do anything else. I can only move. Okay. But I think I can also damage the machine. In order to damage it, we need to get uh, six, I can't ignore six armor. total wounds. You ignore armor. That's cool. I think you could absolutely damage the machine. I love doing damage. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, I'll do that. Because the guy, then. the rule is uh, the machine is armor equal to the number of armor symbols. When an attack roll, the machine has one damage or more. The attacking player will flip it over one face down wiring tile. But if you can ignore armor, you can ignore armor. Yeah. Okay. Uh, my initiative is minus two. I'm a minus one. Perfect. So we're both going slow. We're both going to get hit a little bit. Yeah. The machine flips here. Let's see the new condition. You must roll two reef, reef items uh, during an attack to fix Grotto's machine. Perfect. So he has a force field. And Grotto's machine goes down one. Uh, four movement. Plus one for each shell. Nine total movement. Three damage. All within a range of two. So... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Right on this guy. Nice. This guy's gonna be pushed to the side, so I'll actually shove him back here a little bit. He takes two damage because he got collided with. And then, within a range of two, it's just going to be the yellow one. He's going to take three damage, and we'll roll a modifier. Yeah. Yeah. Four damage. That Yay. machine just just slaughtered one of our enemies. Just like a Yeah, pump, he got chucked yeah. into it. Uh, that was fantastic. That was exactly that was awesome. what we needed to happen. Yeah. Uh, that resolves for the machine. Now, if unable to attack, it'll move more. Go ahead and flip the Salamander Thug. Has a modifier of plus one. Oh, the Salamander Thug would have technically mm. went first there. Uh, because I forgot that we didn't we didn't change. Because that wasn't the card. That was the card they did last turn, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. Yellow is technically here. Let's see what he does. Because he's not going to get collided with. Because he is going to... Uh, yeah, because the machine wouldn't have been there. Yeah, the machine wouldn't have been there. So he's going to move two. So one, two. He will still get damaged. Yeah. So he'll still drop four, which puts him at a health of two, because he's within the range two. But he's going to target me for an attack of two, range of two, modifier, range of attack of four... Oh. Can you make him re-roll? Yeah. Uh, re-roll any hero or enemy. I think that's necessary. Boom. Oh. That's, that's, that's... Okay. Yeah, that one didn't really roll, but... Yeah, that, that, that was, uh... <laughs> that ne was more... Next time, this is the technique. You have to let it completely roll okay. in your hand before you let it go. You gotta let it, you gotta roll it first. Because if can't. you just slide I, it. I'm not historically good at rolling dice, <laughs> but I, I do love, hear what you're saying. You gotta, you gotta give it a little, little love first. He didn't pierce though, uh, which doesn't matter because I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't have had any armor anyway. Mm -hmm. So he does a significant amount of damage to me, which means I desperately need to reveal my health here in just a bit. Mm -hmm. And the machine has now moved forward, which did the damage to him appropriately instead of the extra damage that we were calculating. I liked him better when he got turned into a yeah, bloody me pulp. Me and then I'm going to get to go. So, I have a significant amount of attack. Now the question is, which row do I activate? I think I'm going to do this, because passing aggression, all adjacent enemies lose one uh, health. So, and I think... I guess that's when I end, right? I think it's when you choose to pay it, probably. Oh, Maybe. yeah, that I, I will go with your version. That ticks down. It's caused them both one damage. Uh, 
And I don't... I, I wonder if I can do it. I'm going to rule that I probably can't do it multiple times. Because I think it's like a one-time ability. Like, if I Election. spend that, every one that I, I pass by. So I'll move forward then the total three. And now I can roll five dice. Uh, and I'm doing my best to deal six total damage. Which is a bit of a high ask. Do I want to modify... No, because it's either or with this. So, let's do it. That's 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 not gonna. That is not going to do it. I don't have any reroll abilities or anything either, do I? Okay. Well, <laughs> I will just pretend like I've finished my turn because I have. That was very impressive. Thank you so much. <laughs> you saw wow. A lot. What a good turn. <laughs> I, I should have just finished off the minions. All right, I thought I could do something to the machine. It turns out I can do nothing to the machine. Your turn. Okay. Um, I want to be in three away from the machine. So one, two, three. Oh, I have to be like right up next to him. Don't talk to you, but I'm Okay. Um, oh, I'm gonna grab this. Okay. I am gonna play this here. Yes. And I'm gonna choose to I'm gonna choose no. Oh my gosh, I'll just leave those alone. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then because I can use these in any order, right? Yep. So I'll move my three. One, two. Wait, where was I here? Yep. I only do need to move two. One, two, three. Uh, that's fine. I'll still move that. Okay. And you could still move. You could do that move for free if you wanted to spend your spirit. I can move. Yeah. Oh, that's true. But spirit will only move me once. Spirit would move you twice because you have two of it currently. But you'd spend it all. It's one per. No, I'll move the three to there. Okay. Because I think that I only want one of melee. Okay. Okay. And I moved with this one. Yep. So I will now attack him for... Oh, and my card row clears. Maybe I should have a die to this. I don't really care about getting another focus. So yeah, I guess I will. I'll have put this here. Okay. Um, so now I'll attack with three to him, ignoring armor. Ooh, is that that card's ability? Yeah, I'm piercing him. <clears throat> Two reef, which is what you needed, but you're only doing three damage. Yeah. Well, only two damage, right? Because I don't have only anything two. to buff it with. That is not going to. That is not going to do it. But two reef, I can also try to fix it. What is it? But two reef, I can also try to fix it. Oh wait, but you ignore armor. Yeah, I'm doing two damage. You so you get you get one. You don't, I don't think you actually deal... I ignore armor abilities when applying damage. When an attack roll, Sheen has... Okay, so you're doing two damage. What is the modifier here? So, once you've flipped some of the machine's ar armor's titles, you will need to start working. So we could also do a uh, fix the wiring, or we could take a interact action to give it health, right? Interact. You can also interact to give the machine two health. So you're knocking it for two health. How do flipping, we flip the tiles again? That is just, what we do? just flip one of them, because you've done one you've done one damage. Okay. Oop. Okay. Okay. But then we need to start shifting and manipulating the tiles to get them into the position we need them in. Mm -hmm. This is a weird little puzzle. I like it. It's very different, especially for like a dungeon crawler. So yeah, I'll also fix this one. Okay. This. So free interact Interact action. You're gonna oh, so maybe I that. can fix twice because doesn't so the blue let me you only do get, it too? No, you only get one interact action. Oh. In order to do that, though, you need to uh, have, rolled, have the rolled the two. Okay. Well, either way, I'll do the free one for that, and then I have one more attack. But this one doesn't ignore it with stuff, so I'm gonna attack him. Okay. One damage. One damage. You could reroll, couldn't you? No. You don't have which ability did you use to attack? Oh my gosh, yeah, I do. I have my regular thing. <laughs> <sighs> Not quite. <sighs> and I covered up the thing that would have given me that. <laughs> oh well. That happens. That's a thing. Everything's fine. Uh, okay. So. <sighs> yeah, I hear. We don't do any damage. That is our turn. We are now setting our initiative again. Hmm. I kind of... Oh. I just played this. I'm breaking or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've got you've to cycle I'm your grid. I think I'm going to... I think I'm going to get damaged before I do this. 
I'm definitely gonna take a wound. That is so sad. But I don't want multiple, so I'm I'm going to set down a card that's gonna start generating me health. I'm just gonna try to kill it. Oh. How much health does everyone have? Okay, I'll try this. I'll try this. We'll just see. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Uh, so, flip your card, set initiative, I don't change, either. you either, so f go ahead and flip the lizards, I'll flip the machine. Machine is going down by two, which is great. And the thugs go back down by two. Uh, all, so, all heroes who are on or adjacent to the tracks gain minus one focus. Okay. Okay. And these guys go down by two. That means I'm acting first. That's awesome. I actually might be able to save myself. I put down my persistent power. Wow. All of your attacks and all attacks against you are at advantage. So that means blue counts as hits for me, but also counts as hits against That's me. That's dangerous. It is dangerous. It's it's highly risky. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to do... I'm going to do this here in the center, unless I want to gain five health back immediately. Oh. We got you think? This. Yeah. I mean, but I'm down by eight. <laughs> I'm gonna do this. One is enough. I'm gonna do this. Both of us, <laughs> both of us are going to gain a might. Great. So go ahead and oh, you don't need it. No, I don't. Ah. It's Alright. I'm I'm activating. I can move three. So I'm gonna move one, two, three. Around the Do I move around the or do I just take damage? I'm healing so much. Let's just commit to it. One, two, three. I wonder how that works. Are you sure you want to do that? I wonder how that works. You want it, it to come hit you? If it runs over me, do I pop out like down here? Because there's no, there's it's like a cavern. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I would suppose so. Okay. Honestly, in my head, I'm like, you should take extra damage. That's what I was thinking. It pushes you down. That's kind of what I was thinking. It would be like one, two, it'd be two, it'd be yeah. six damage total. But then I'd be right adjacent to it. Is that worth it? No. no. I would not advise it. Okay. <laughs> One, two, three. I could move there and yeah. be ready to catch it around the corner here. You're on fire. Uh, and then I gain five health, which is really two, three, four, five. What I was, what I was desperately needing. That's it, though. I am not very effective. That's okay. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. Uh, no, it's not your turn. Sorry. Oh, oh, oh. Lizards go... No, the no, machine yeah. goes before you. Uh, five okay. movement plus one for each one. I think it's going to get past you. I yeah, don't think... and then it won't. Because there's, there's this obstacle in the way. Mm -hmm. So we're looking at nine. Mm -hmm. Okay. Range of two. It's not going to reach you. It's not going to reach anyone. Awesome. And, but it's beyond. Mm. Okay. Uh... If unable to attack, Gerda's machine loses two health. Ooh. We need to do an interact to fix the machine. Because if the machine breaks... Yeah. So next turn, one of us needs to reach this thing. Yeah, I can't reach it right now, but... Wasn't I, I, wasn't I next to it when I started? I was. Were you ahead of it? I was right here. Yeah. I could yeah. have done a free interact to go ahead and give it two additional health. So let's, let's have done so that. So we did that. Let's have done that. <laughs> uh, your turn. Okay. Um, I am going to Psychic Surge. I just don't know. If I attack ranged yeah. for the yellow one, that's disadvantage. Okay. Is that uh, it would be, yeah. But you only need one hit, so okay. it's not the worst odds. It's just the blue will, will cancel a let's, hit. Let's do this. Okay. All right, so first I'll do this and target all enemies range two. Nice. So I'll target both of them. Yes. She's so good. You might be able to murder them both. Range. Um, and I have an extra die, but I think that's only for one of the attacks. It is right? only for one of the attacks. All right, so we'll do that for the disadvantage one. Oh, no. Well, this is the same attack. So this is the same attack attacking yeah. both. So that die would count for both oh, of like these. Oh, like I roll once. Y yeah. Well, no, not you don't roll once. You, you resolve for each, but I think that die counts for... The this whole, whole cycle attack. if you had another attack ability i think that's where the die would go I away. See, I see. so this is like you're firing like two crossbow bolts or something yeah. it's a psychic surge so it's like 
Ooh, my energy is coming up. Books. This is what we do, friends. Yes. This is what we who do. Are you, who are you targeting? Uh, it doesn't matter. That was the disadvantage one because I wanted to do him first, okay. the yellow one. Completely, completely wiped. We might only have a robot to this deal with here soon. Roll. Okay. And then. Does That'll that kill do it. him as well? That'll do it. Nice. Lovely. And then I will... Two things drop down on the ground, so you might be able to do an interact action if you want either of those. Ching, ching, ching. Will no more spawn now as well? No, more my, more oh. will spawn. Only when the card, though, triggers the spawn. Yeah, I will. I can move two more. So I will move to here and take that one. You'll actually pick Whoop. them both up. Oh, because, because I you're stepping, it? you're stepping on them. Yeah, yeah, it's an interact if you want to pick it up adjacent to you, but you'll actually grab both of them there. Thank you. Awesome. Uh, oh. Can I have an actual fruit? I can give you an the actual first fruit. fruit. Yay! Do, do, do. Uh, I expect you to bounce more. Okay. This is also a great location if you just want to go fruit harvesting. Yeah. Which we haven't Walk around and grab them. Uh, Machine that has moved. Idea. We have moved. Lizard has moved. We are re-engaging our initiative. Okay. And this time I'm going to try to do uh, as much and you're not going to draw a card as much damage as possible if that's even possible I don't have a lot of damage but I can move up and do a free interact and start shifting the uh, tile as well hmm mm. or I could mm. get or I could get super lucky super lucky with a three dice roll might be enough okay oh <sighs> I think I know what I'm doing. Whenever you're ready. Yeah, okay. All right, flip your card. I have no initiative change. I'm minus two Ooh. for whack. Okay, this is flipping. You must roll two reef uh, tokens during uh, an attack to fix his machine. Okay. Uh, plus one on the machine. So it goes up ahead of both of us. It's going to move ahead of us. Uh, and then should I still flip one? You should still flip one because it might spawn. Yep. Uh, and it does. Okay, so starting with the machine here. Three movement, plus one for each, which is going to be seven. If unable to attack, which it will be unable to attack, it's going to move an additional four. So okay. seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Not good. I don't think I can reach it. Actually, I might be able to because I can move five. Let's see. All right, my card. Card's going here. Do I have what I need? One, two, three, four, five. I can get close to it, which means I can do a free interact with it if we want to try to heal it up a little bit more. Because it has a habit of damaging itself. Yeah. And I kind of would, I would like to fix the machine. I would prefer it not to explode. Yeah, I think I, if you can get the shields off, I can only do that Pierce thing like so many times. I, I don't have a lot of power to do shields off, but I can certainly try. So we're going to start with a movement of uh, one, two, one, two, three. I'm still not there. So we're gonna activate this. Uh, you get to go ahead and gain, gain a might if you need it. You don't need it. Mm -mm. Um, so, so I'm gonna actually use this to move first. One, two. Then I'm gonna activate this card with a move, which will give me one might back. You can move three forward. Then I'm gonna go ahead and activate two rolls, three dice. I don't have any spirit, which is very disappointing. That is not going to be enough to actually do damage to it. I just ping it across the side, but I can do a free interact. And I'm going to take a free interact action to shift this upwards, I think. Go ahead and starting to solve okay, the puzzle. Okay. Uh, that is my turn, and it is on to the lizards. Lizards are not going to do anything other than spawn at B. So we'll go ahead and toss a blue lizard down here, and your turn. Okay. This I'm pretty much just getting out for setup. So, I think I could hit it, but how much is it? I don't think I can hit it for now. So uh, currently, we need to do six to it. Yeah. So, I will go here. I'm not attacking anything, but I'm putting my attack card out because I don't okay. think I can. No, I can't. Um, I will get into a shelf and just move to it. And. I was gonna spend some of my stuff to move because you keep giving it to us, but I'm like, it's going that way? Yeah, he's going up and around. Yeah, okay. I'll move two more to there. And okay. Worth it. Top of the round. Go ahead and clear if you have three or more and set our initiative. Do I get more movement or do I just start getting a, a more powerful attack in place? If I could go faster. Okay. All right, I think I'm ready. It has 
four shield? Uh, it, four it currently has four armor. Alright. I hate that. But I'll try. Well... It's gonna move so much. I'm gonna focus on the other guy. <laughs> <laughs> Take out the lizard? Yeah. I'll like I said, I think if we stay in this middle zone, yeah. we're in a good spot to control it. Yeah. Because it'll keep coming around to us. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, ready to go? Mm -hmm. I'm flipping. I get plus one initiative. I get minus two. Uh, you're still on the bottom of it. And the... This flips. Uh, minus three. That is amazing. Yeah, that's really good. Two, three. I'm not right. And now, here's what's cool. Uh, oh. Activate a spirit ability on any card. I did not use that. That does not count as a spirit ability, but... I haven't I haven't used any of my abilities yet. Oh, uh, did I defeat an enemy? I must have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You defeated. I should have done that. You defeated like four. Okay, so you're at max there. So just go ahead and mark that you have earned that ability. So what's plus two power? Do I just have that, or is that something? Later? No. So this is this is experience Where's that you're getting. Oh. Yeah, it's for it's for kind of your progression. I'm growth. feeling powerful. Though. So starting with me, here's the card I put down, and this card's super cool. Uh, two damage. Win place. Place an additional card in your grid. Must activate the line containing this card. So this goes here. Uh -huh. But I get to place an additional card in, so I get to kind of program forward. And I think I'm going to go ahead and put down my dash card okay. here, just because that gives me some really good movement That's cool. to use in the future. But I have to activate this row. So, uh, oh, must activate the line containing this card. I have to activate the line containing the new card that I put down. So... Do a bunch of attack. Yeah, but I just realized that these don't actually pair it. either. These are two yeah. separate attacks against the machine, which is not, not yeah. the best. Mm. So I'm going to set that here, and then I'm going to set this here. And I'm activating it down. Nice. So I have two attack, two health, which gets me back up to full health, one shield into my quantum reservoir, three move, and I can do a free interact with this. So I'm going to interact to swap the positions of these tokens, because I'm hoping we have like a little L-shaped one there, because that would go ahead and connect it. I might as well take a shot at this guy. Yeah. Uh, I only get to roll two dice, though, and the I, it's just not a way for me to hit what I need, but... Yeah. I should... Uh, you know what I should do? I should have actually done... I should move one, two, three, and fire at him. Because I can I can spend one of my might, which gets me a token here, in order to make this a range three attack. Which means that roll there would have at least done one damage. And I don't have any spirit to spend. Okay. So, not really the most effective. That's not too bad. Yeah. Yeah, it's not really the most not really the most effective. All right, uh, after this, the lizard's going to go. Lizard is moving to, looking to attack everyone in a range two. So it's going to move forward. Uh, I am in a range two. It's not doesn't have an option to get you in a range two. Uh, attacking, one modifier. Two damage coming to me. Doesn't have pierce. And it is on to you. Okay. I. You already interacted with the machine, right? I did once. You could do it again, though. You could. We can't. Uh oh. But that's okay because either way, we yeah. could only done it once. You could attack it, like if you I if you have the enough. power. I don't think it's enough. I think I'm better off. Oh. Okay. I. I wish I could just move more. I, mean, I have a lot of movement, but I don't bit. have the strength that you have. I'm so strong. You do have your tokens, remember too. That you have I the know. plus one. You have the plus one movement the, on that. The problem with that is you have to put it over a thing, which I realized like you have to be playing a two yeah. to be able to really use that. Okay, I will go here, and I will move one, two. Feels very dangerous. Okay. Um, and then I will. I mean, I can attack it for just one. Is it even worth rolling for that? I mean, I guess it's fine because I because I'm tar targeting him. Mm -hmm. But it's not going to really do much to the other guy. Oh, and it's only one damage actually. So two damage to the salamander. Okay. And then I can't spend anything to do that. So then I will attack him again for two. 
Ooh. For three more damage. Salamander's been taken out. <laughs> I thought of it. <laughs> Love it so much. The salamanders are not like they're they're just kind of pests. Like you're handling them so easily, but this machine is a problem. Eight move, Girdle loses two health because of that card. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We can do it. I mean, I'm hoping it catches us this next go around. Mm -hmm. All right, go ahead and set your initiative. Draw up to your hand size. Right. I need attacks that actually pair together. I don't have a lot. This is maybe my best bet. Possibly, but I need might to do this. I think my best bet is to try to go slow for it to catch up to me. Yeah, I was I kind of had the same mindset. I think I'm gonna drop down a little bit. I'm ready to go. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, I have minus one initiative. I also have minus one. You're still where you are. Flipping for the machine. Uh, plus three. That's kind of what we wanted. I should uh, just shuffle these right You should, yeah. All heroes who are in or adjacent to the tracks gain minus one spirit or minus one focus. Both of us gain minus one focus, so <gasps> drop that yellow down. <sighs> and the machine is going to go first. So, Whoa. four movement. This might go first. Right? Mm, it won't catch it, but go ahead and flip it. So it's moving up by oh, one. And they also don't exist, so they would only spawn, which it oh, is going to spawn. That makes sense. It is going to spawn at B. I'm so sick of them. So, machine moving eight. So, around that outer edge. <sighs> I still can't reach it. All heroes who are adjacent or on. Uh, the tracks are from minus one. Uh, oh. Oh, is that? That is one of these. That is one of these. Oh, how frustrating. So, we should actually be gaining stuns, not... Uh, this symbol is not just minus one that icon. Oh. It is actually minus one these. And these pop down on cards. I think that's one of my things. What is <laughs> At it? At least to gain a status. Oh, okay, you got a status. Congratulations. Yeah. So. Uh, these pop down on the cards, which means they do also clear, but they create, like, hard debuffs on our board as well. Yeah. Okay. My activation. I have Tidal Spirit. Uh, I can spend a might to add plus one to each attack I make this turn, but I don't know that I have the movement necessary. So I'm going to do this here. Oh. I am going to gain... So I'm going to put this piece over this. So I'm going to gain a might. And then you will gain a might as well. Yay. And then I gain an additional one, because I have that there. Then I activate this card row up. I can move three. So one, two, th three. Uh, I don't know that I can see him. So I'm going to spend one to step like over to the side down here so now i should have visibility i only get to roll a double damage i'm gonna spend two to move right up next to this dude uh do a free interact to give it two health because it is about yeah, to that break is, that is good but i'm about to be pummeled and this whole clock card row clears this is really difficult <laughs> this is really i was like it'll be fine this no i was like we've got this handled don't worry about it <laughs> This is this is a puzzle that I was not prepared to solve. No. Alright, on to you. Uh no, on to the yeah. lizard. Lizard spawns at B. Up. Hello! All of your friends have not lasted long. I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you. Your gods are not good. No, they're not. And now on to you. And what does the minus one do on me? So that's a status. So uh when you activate that whole column, you would lose one uh if you're able to. Like one to the attack? Yeah, no, it's that's that's minus oh, one. one of my minus one is your status. Yeah, I'll make sure I I'll make sure I interpret those rules hundred percent correctly while you play. Alright. I'm going to Where is the stun? Here. This is gonna be cool already because these are both linked. Ooh. And I'm gonna take my range thing and make it a range yes. like five damage attack, but I still can't reach the guy because I can't move. So You should be able to, uh, you should be able to poke through him. 
If an attack has a stat listed after it, that attack will cause the status uh, if it's fulfilled the requirements. If a status is rolled, the hero who was hit must place those status tokens onto eligible cards on their nexus. See status page 22. Alright, continue and I will let you know when I found it. Okay, so I think I can only reach the lizard guy. Can you not reach him? I can't even move. I only have range of three. Mm. But I'll be able to attack for five next time. It's oh, that, that's actually great. I can, I can great. do it again. That's actually great. I know. Uh, they represent negative effects in, inflicted by the enemy, scenarios or, or effects, or overexertion. They're placed onto action cards and have a negative effect when that card is activated. They stay in play until the action card is discarded or you use a special ability to discard them. When placed, uh, it must be placed into a card that, that they will affect. They cannot make an action have a negative value. Statuses must be placed onto a card with the fewest statuses on it. Uh, if a status cannot be placed, lose two health. Uh, and we have stun. Minus one focus. You must pay one focus to activate this card hard it's okay. so I'm it's not those. so it's not just minus one focus it is minus one focus and you must be able to pay it that's fine i'll do this first and i think i i think i technically broke that rule as well because i did this row right that's okay all right well now we we can play correctly you're hurt in a little so it's okay mm -hmm. he was like delirious we're not doing well yeah it was that brain damage coming back <laughs> Um, all right, so I'll gain the two to, and then pay the one. And now I will attack for five arranged to this guy. And I could give myself advantage. I don't think I need to, but I could. <laughs> Do I need it for a lizard? No, we'll save it. We'll save it for the other guy. Let's see. Um, can I Five dice? Money? Yeah. Boom. All right. Yeah, because I can pay yellow still for things too. Uh, one, two, three, four. You can get to five. Oh. You do have. Do you have a reroll of anything or no? No, that thing's gone. Mm. What about yeah. your shells? Do your I shells could, give you oh, a reroll? Oh, I could. I could reroll. I think is that you get to choose as many as you want. I believe so. Here. Yeah. Okay. Let's go nuts. Let's be crazy, and I'll reroll everything except the double. Okay. That's my. That's okay. how I feel. Watch this be worse. Okay. Absolutely okay. not worse. Did four, it. five, six. And like we predicted, the lizard does not doesn't last long. The lizard is gone very, very quickly. Little mite token pops down. And I think that's all I can do, though. That's uh, all. All right. Uh, make sure you have the correct amount of cards in your hand for you. It's five. Mm -hmm. And this time, I'm kind of trying to pay attention to where I can get yeah. focus, because I need focus to activate certain abilities. Okay. Oh, I like this. If I could just get enough. Okay. All right. I think I'm in a good spot. One second. Yeah, sure. Well, uh, yeah. Well, oh, uh, I want to use this, but if I do, it breaks. Duh. And then I have nothing. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Flipping. Plus, plus one. one initiative for me. Plus one initiative for you. Flipping for the machine, plus one initiative for the machine. Sadly, it's going to go ahead of me, which means it's going to bump me off the track. And minus two for the salamander thugs. Gerda's machine, plus three, plus one for each shield. So we're talking seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, bumps you uh, back. <laughs> bumps me back. We both take two damage. But now you're right next to it, yeah. which is good. And on to me. So here's what I did. I did outperform. I could spend two might to add two dice to this attack. So okay. I'm placing that here. That's going to get me two might from this. I have three movement. One, two, three. No, <laughs> I can't reach. No. Unless I spend the might. And then I've spent the might, which is defeats the point. Spend the might and roll two dice. Or save, like, and interact with it, or save the might But if you spend the might, you can't get to him, right? Yeah, I can't, yeah. So don't spend it. Okay. Those two dice would be, like, just here. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be a flop. I mean, you could go up to him in normal attack. I but can't, it won't really do enough. I can't reach him. I can't do anything. Okay, that's, that's gonna be it. I mean, if you are gonna get more might, if you want, you could at least move closer, because it's gonna loop that way. But, like, you could go this way, because he's gonna come... That's fair. 
But I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna cover this mite up next turn. Oh, okay. So like, next time I'm in range of him, yeah. I'm going to cover that up in order to get a stronger right, attack. Right. So, I'm going to kind of rely on you. Uh, he is gone. It is your turn. Okay. While you do that, I'm going to shoot a message back to Alex, letting him know where we are. I'm going to tank. All right. Let's. Let's do this. I will put this one here. I will. I'm definitely not telling Alex that we are uh, struggling to oh defeat gosh. this scenario. I am not struggling. Gently struggling. I'm struggling. <laughs> I You're feel pulling so your confident. Weight. You're pulling your weight. I am struggling. I'm going to move one to here with my thing, with my spirit. Alex said, nice, hope you lose. He wants us to. Not because, not because <laughs> he actually wants us to lose. He likes games where you can yeah. lose. Yeah. I, I think it would be exciting if you died. <laughs> you and you that. and you pulled out the victory. All right, all right. Continue. Let's see what happens. All right. Um, I will attack it for four ranged plus a die. Okay. So five. That's when I should have saved my the advantage, but four. Uh, I don't have anything. You have, oh, I do. I do. You have focus, do. so you could get two six. Yes. That would be, so that would be... Oh, I don't want to hurt him that... Wait, this is only five. One, two, three, four. This is four. You could get five. You could do this and one and not one that damage. one. So yes. you could do yeah. one damage. Yes. And let's then choose that. one of these tiles to flip. And we are one let's step closer. Like... Okay, we'll see what this one is. Oh, but I You got to keep it in the exactly orientation. Yeah. Okay. Ho, 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 ho. That's all right. Wait. Oh, a I... Double, a double rotate. You could do a free interact. I had moved before. Uh, Should I have free interacted to heal it a little? You could have healed it a little bit. Mm -hmm. We have been trying to do this. Yeah. Well, so we're... <laughs> I haven't played this that much. <laughs> um, but yeah, then I think that's all. Okay. If I was adjacent to you... Oh, wait. Yeah, if I was adjacent to you, we could have gained stuff. Shall we? It's easier for me to hit him, though. All right, go ahead and if you... I need to actually reshuffle my draw pile. I have one more. Okay. Which is interesting. Well, we have different amounts of cards. Yeah. Because we both chosen to take and upgrade in different ways. I kind of want to try to go ahead of him. I'm going to try. I wonder how far it's going to get away from Oh, me. here's the thing. Heroes must spend focus each time they attack Gerdo's machine. Okay. Well, that was, that was this last round. So you would have had to have spent focus. Oh, that was his last round? In order, yeah. Which which column did you activate? This one? That I spent one, one to make it one more damage. So I wouldn't have damaged him. And you don't have a cut through or anything? No. I'll spend my fruit. Uh, yeah, your fruit doesn't get there. This doesn't mm. get there. Two, re-roll. I could give you a re-roll. To have tried to do a little more damage. Yeah, so you could reroll. So I would have spent this anyway. You would have had to spend that. Okay. But yeah, and try to yeah. With. Try to just get this a is... damage. That'll work. We're still playing Huzzah! correctly. We're still playing correctly. It is purely based on my dice rolling skills. Okay. <sighs> oh wait, no. I have my cards. I have my initiative <laughs> set. Yeah. Okay. 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 I'm just hoping I'll be able to reach it. No. Oh, and please. if I can. We'll be good. All right. Okay, I think I paid them to you. <laughs> you did, yeah. Flipping. I have plus one. I have plus one as well. Let's see what he has. Plus two. Man. Oh, no. He's still going to go ahead then. Hmm. Okay. Gerda's machine. And did anyone spawn last round? No. But they will now. And three movement. Plus, two, two. plus one for each. So six total movement. One, two, three, four, five, six. Plus one for each. Unable to attack, he's not going to be able to reach you. All heroes lose two health, so ding yourself by two. I'm at one. Yeah, but you have the whole bottom yeah. row, so you'll just yeah. take a wound when you go past that. Uh, all right. I played down a card truly hoping I could reach him this turn, and I can't. The problem is, if I play this where I want to play it, I end up uh, closing off one of my abilities. So here's what I'm going to have to do. I'm going to stick this here. I'm not going to really get the attack bonus, but I will go ahead and lock one of these, and I'll go ahead and gain five health back. Nice. That's that's going to be my entire turn. 
which is a bit rough. Okay, your turn. Okay. Do I still have to spend stuff to attack him? No. Oh. Uh, no, this Lovely. time you just have to roll to that, leaf. Oh. That changes everything, because I was going to need this for that. I don't want to hurt him too bad, though, right? Mm. He's like, got he's four health. extra hurt any extra armor? No. So. No. Okay. Yeah, we'll do that. You want to basically hit four perfectly. And then I will put this... I hate to spend it because it's one that's going to burn, but I can't really put it anywhere that it's not going to burn. I'm going to be doing the same thing. It is nice to have the flexibility, though, of, like, I can change my card. Yeah, I do like that. It's going to... That's. We're going to move me one. Okay. And then I'm going to attack for five at range three. No, for six at range three. I love this. (laughs) You're rolling so many dice. (laughs) Oh my gosh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, but that's actually bad. That's right? terrible. I mean, it's not terrible, terrible. Because I didn't roll. You're doing two blue four, either. five, six, seven. You're doing three damage. Four damage. Yeah. Oh, I, no, you I, break I him. Need, I need two blue, too. Oh, so you, oh, you need two blue to even get him. And you don't have anything to manipulate? Um, it's technically good that you're missing, because this would this would have ended the scenario with a broken robot. Well, but don't I break him and not be able to fix him? I think that's only... You need to do that to fix him. In order to fix Gerdo's machine. I don't know how I want to say it, but I think I might have just did the bad thing. I think you might have... Uh, once you've flipped the machine's armor tiles, you need to start working on it. There's two ways to fix the machine. Roll tide symbols, attack the machine, and apply damage as normal, taking armor into account. Then if you rolled one or more tide symbols, take one of the following fix actions. Yeah. Yeah. No, because right now we're doing armored plating. Machine is armored equal to the number of armor symbols showing on the wiring tiles. When attacked, when an attack roll on the machine has one damage or more, the attacking player flips over one face down wiring tile. Make sure you keep the orientation the oh, same so I, when flipping. I still get to flip one, but oh, yeah. I do kill it. Yeah, you were possibly. No, wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And it has. Four health left. Yeah. I thought for some reason it had four shields too. But it's so I, I have to say, this is such a cool puzzle. I'm just so powerful. This is a really cool <laughs> puzzle. That being said, you are. You are way too aggressive for this poor little robot. So, go ahead and read. You said you wanted to read oh, the ending. No. Go ahead and read 4B.2. Oh, the no. machine kaput. is kaput. The machine is kaput. As the machine explodes, the cavern comes crashing down on you. You take wow. off, dodging, dodging falling debris, and barely miss being crushed under rocks and pillars. The salamanders behind you aren't so lucky. You find Greedo relaxing under the tree outside the cave. As the debris and dust settle, Greedo looks up and sighs. Well, back to the drawing board, I guess. Oh, no. <laughs> We've let him down. Scenario bonus. Add the looper into the desert market bag. All heroes gain 3 XP and lose 1 fame. Write it down. Write the words, Greedo's machine destroyed on the narrative notes section of your hero sheet. Ooh. When you're ready for your next adventure, advance to chapter. Five. So, machine destroyed. Ugh. We were adding a token into our, our little uh, yeah, desert one. market bag. Interesting. Mm-hmm. So that's something that we can purchase, it looks like. And we lose one fame. Instead of gaining fame, we are ticking backwards. Oop. Fantastic. So, Happy to be here. <laughs> so this is the first like beyond intro scenario you've played. Yeah. What are your what are your initial thoughts like so far? I love it. I'm really happy with the puzzle part, things like that that get added. That's my jam. It's want, different. I it's different it from a classic it. dungeon crawl. Yeah. Which I like. I appreciate that we're still doing damage. We're still attacking, but this rotating beast on the track, like. Yeah. None of the other scenarios have had anything quite like that. And I enjoy when you're attacking something that's good and you're trying yeah. not to hurt. I mean, I guess I say I enjoy it. I ruined it, but. <laughs> I mean, you're I really like. good at attacking. That's yeah. the you know. Yeah. But. A little aggro. Okay, we're gonna swing <laughs> into the next scenario, I suppose. So stay tuned. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Bye.